The seas bounded by Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island are known as the Polynesian Triangle. The ancestors of the Polynesian people used to navigate at will between the islands. There were no navigational charts or compasses in those days. They depended on the stars that shone in the night sky. They set course by gauging their position from the stars and sensing it from wind and waves. This is the tradition of star navigation. Hokulea was built in 1976 with the aim of reviving the long Hawaiian tradition of voyaging by the stars. It has voyaged 100,000 miles and more than proved the real power of star navigation. The key figure is Captain Nainoa Thompson, who himself shares the blood of those ancient Hawaiian mariners. The new project is to set sail from Hawaii and voyage through Micronesia to finish at the Japanese port of Yokohama. The historic voyage began on the 19th of January, 2007. Hokulea was accompanied by Kamahele. This is Hokulea's escort vessel. Nobody can say what might happen on a long voyage. It's there to protect Hokulea and her crew. That's Kamahele's mission. Kamahele's crew chose a Yanmar engine for their boat. This engine has a big role to perform. Hokulea's sister canoe, Maisu, joins them part of the way. What were the engine requirements? First, because there wouldn't be many chances to refuel on this voyage, the fuel consumption had to be low. Also, if problems did arise, it had to be simple to mend and maintain. There wasn't much room in the engine room, so it had to be light compact and high output too. The engine had to have all this. Kamahele lending a hand when needed and the engine on which Kamahele depends. The success of the voyage depends on all of the support being just right. The boats received enthusiastic welcomes from the people of the Micronesian Isles, from the president down. Maisu was given to the island of Satawal, the birthplace of the great star navigator, Captain Thompson's teacher, Mao Pialuk. It will surely help to foster many more great star navigators to come. Hokulea and Kamahele met severe weather along the way, but navigated safely all of the way to Okinawa. <laughs> クルーデインが安全にここにたどり着けて、とても嬉しく思います。クルー一人一人が一つになって、そして日本にして、ここの糸満の港にたどり着けたと本当に心からお願いします。We spoke with Captain Michael Taylor of Kamahele. We're completely satisfied with the engine. It's uh, worked uh, perfectly from the Big Island to here. We've been gone over 90 days. We've been uh, sailing and motoring for over 70 of those days. The engine was available 100% of the time. We never had to shut down except to service it. And uh, it has performed perfectly 100% of the time. That's the only percent that I can not say. So, you know, all day, every day, it has been completely capable without any difficulties whatsoever. And at the same time, it's uh, also very economical on fuel. So in addition to the power and the capabilities, the economy is also uh, very good. 
One of the big purposes of the present voyage was to visit the places that Japanese emigrants to Hawaii had come from. These are the ports they visited. The boats went from Okinawa to Kumamoto, Fukuoka, Yamaguchi, and Hiroshima, all places that many Japanese left to cross to Hawaii. There was gratitude for all that the Japanese emigrants have given to Hawaii, and also eagerness to build new ties. Captain Thompson had especially fond boyhood memories of a second-generation Japanese Hawaiian, Yoshi Kawano, who was like a father to him and taught him everything about the sea. Yoshi's own father was an instructor at a fishing school. Another goal of this voyage to Japan was to visit the Uajima Fishery Senior High School. Eime <laughs> Maru, the training vessel of this high school, was struck in a tragic collision with a U.S. nuclear submarine off Hawaii in 2001. Nine lives were lost. Captain Thompson took bereaved relatives to the sea area of the accident to pray for the repose of their souls. This is the sixth year anniversary of the tragedy. Uh, one of the family members, when they came, all the family members came to the memorial, but, this, the, but I guess a spokesperson for the family got up and said, and, and, it, and it cemented everything for me, was um, that they're looking forward to Hokulea coming to Ehime because it's in their belief that the canoe will bring the souls of the children home. So uh, I cannot think of any other great honor and any other privilege to help with... Uh, to change and heal the tragedy, then for hopefully to have that honor to do that. Kamahele gave untiring support to Hokulea at sea. In Micronesia, and while navigating from port to port in Japan, Kamahele towed Hokulea on windless days and when the sea was rough. Port of Call, Yokohama, was reached the 9th of June, 2007. King Kalakaua of Hawaii visited Yokohama in 1881. The full-scale Japanese emigration to Hawaii was triggered by his meeting with the Meiji Emperor. Having reached Yokohama, the port also visited by King Kalakaua, Hokulea's latest voyage was over. いろいろ話をして感じたのは彼らはその仕事なんだけども仕事じゃない気持ちの部分から応援してくれてるのがよくわかりましたねこれはすごいことですよ現代社会の中で一企業がしかもねちっちゃな企業じゃない大きな企業